What is next for Voyager? Yeah. How does going public accelerate your long-term vision? Yeah, so we have several growth vectors we'll deploy capital uh, around. Obviously, we've raised money in this IPO. I mentioned a few of them before. Uh, Star Lab, our space station program, uh, potential acquisitions. We've been quite acquisitive. We've made seven acquisitions since our founding. So I think it's likely we'll look at something like that. Uh, smart missile defense, um, software, and software-enabled hardware. What's the path to profitability looking like? You know, we're at an operating level already profitable. We obviously are carrying, uh, call it centralized costs for becoming a public company. Uh, so there's a lot of operating leverage built up in our platform. So as we grow revenue, I think there will be a natural path there. Okay, so if we wait another five years until we talk again, yeah. uh, what will we be talking about then? I, you know, it's a good question. I think Star Lab will be in orbit by then. Certainly it's our intention to have it in orbit. Uh, so I think, I think of commercial space stations as being an operating platform. So we might have multiple stations. That would be a, an ambition of ours. Um, don't take that to the bank because uh, we got to get the first one built first. But so I think that that'll be a thing. I think humans will be back on the moon and I would like to think we'll have a role to play in that. And uh, hopefully the Western missile defense shield will be secure because I think that is a strategic threat to our way of life, uh, the Western world, the Western value system. And that, that is a real threat. That's not uh, that's not something to uh, not take seriously. We have to take that very seriously.